So we're here with Bebop Vox, the Minecraft Monday show, Hiya. and other things. Uh, well, let's just jump right into it. Uh, sure. You do the Minecraft Monday show. Uh, what kind of things do you do to prepare for, for that? Uh, preparing for it, I actually do a lot of research. And uh, it's great that a lot of people recognize that. They're like, oh, I love how much time you put into it and everything else, because that really does take a, a lot of hours. So especially when you do a segmented show like that, it's a lot of preparation, so in different locations. You know, like like Twitter, Reddit, everything else. Some community members, specialists that's bullying like Redstoners and things like that. So it's a lot of research. That's what it comes down to. All getting it ready for you in a nice little package. Yeah. Right. So how many hours would you say you spent in a average week on the show? Just this the show alone, not your other. Uh, stuff yeah, you yeah. Do. The uh, I would say um, it's it's kind of weird it's to add it up because I do it throughout the week because uh, it's kind of like on Twitter like I'll favorite something and I make sure to come back to it later and then do more research on it or something else. So that's why Twitter is amazing for researchers or news people and stuff like that. So. Um, but, and then editing, uh, about five hours of editing, you know, into that. And then uh, if I want to have more fun with it, it goes into like eight just because I had a lot of fun because I enjoy editing and kind of make it fun for people to watch. So, yeah. All right. Uh, don't, don't mind me. I got water. It's like day two and whew, lose wow. my voice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, same problem. Uh, well, I'm not talking to people, but I do a lot of talking anyway. But, uh, yeah, um, you have this thing where you feature like really good builds. Yeah, uh, from people in the community. Holy is... shit, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. What? How do you pick one of those things? I mean, I, I think I saw a Reddit post one day and you was like, I want to put this on the Minecraft Monday show. Do you just browse like Planet Minecraft and Reddit to see like, is there something that stands out? Is there any specific things that you... Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the hard part is because I don't want to pigeonhole something and say, oh, okay, I'm only going to Reddit for all the my builds and stuff like that. And people are like, oh my God, I'm watching the Reddit show, you know, kind of thing. So it's, it's really uh, a mix between my emails to uh, Twitters, the thing people send me uh, and things like that. Because if you go to my emails, it's all like, hey, builds, texture pack, seeds. And I try to organize as much as I can, but... Yeah, the, some amazing stuff though just pops out, and uh, websites like you mentioned, playing Minecraft, like they keep it really well. Like, oh, this is a cool project of like that day kind of thing. So, uh, but then Reddit, of course, it's a natural, you know, you know, social yeah. media finding amazing things. And even though I don't want to just be like, oh, look how easy I found something cool that other people saw, obviously, you know, I try to still jump around and, and use stuff from all over the place. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because when when you're dealing with like builds, it's usually you can tell when something is. Really really good. We've got texture packs. That's like a whole different story because, you know, there's different things that p different people like and, you know, yeah. some people have a different opinion about that. Definitely, that, definitely. Do you, you, you do that all yourself? Do you, do you maybe ask people around if, to help you with uh, finding something? Um, sometimes, but I usually get enough content coming in. But yeah, you're oh, right. right. The, the hardest part is uh, trying to review all of it, like the mods I never review. I always support some other Minecrafter that does mods. You know, yeah. so that's why it's a big community show, so they get views and everything else, and you guys in the community, and uh, and all that stuff. So, because I don't have time to install and review and do a video, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? So, um, but it's all about supporting not only the people who make the mods, but also the people who do the videos that help build the community of what it is today, kind of thing. Which is a really good, it's a really good community. Yeah, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, about your personal Minecraft experience, I assume you play Minecraft from time to time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what what made you get into that? Um, Minecraft was actually uh, that's kind of that's an interesting question because it was like I was going through an MMO phase kind of and I was playing so many MMOs you know and things like that like I've been editing for 12 years and I go through my game phases and and I was really getting into this MMO phase where I was honestly losing my creativity so I was like. And I wouldn't say grinding because obviously every game has its grinding methods like MMOs. So uh, it was like very, I just, I, I didn't, I wanted to get out of monotony. So that's what I got and I wanted something more creative. So there's games like Second Life, if you guys know that one. And then, uh, then I found, came, my buddy found Minecraft and then we started playing together and like instantly hooked. First day I was playing with my buddy because it's all about the people you play with. You know, it was like five hours went by, you know, and then my wife, she calls it like Minecraft Barbies or Barbies with blocks, Lego Barbies, that's what she calls it, Neon Glitter Mom. And uh, so, and it's like, yeah, you, you pick on me, but I'm still, you know, it's so much fun. Like that's caught me right away. Yeah. Right on. Uh, do you have something that not many people know about you, like in the YouTube community that you would want to share with them? 
Uh, I think I just have like one unique thing that I always get asked about a lot. Uh, it's that my, my other job, I'm in the Air Force. So a lot of people don't know that. So I'm active duty Air Force and that's why I'm in Germany. So uh, a lot of people wonder like, like, what do you mean you don't have time to do this stuff? It's because like 50 hours a week I'm working on an airplane. Like I'm, I'm a crew chief, I'm a C-130 crew chief. And like so many people ask about that. So that's kind of like why I started the vlog channel. So yeah. Right, that's really cool. I didn't even know that you worked at the Air Force. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. learn a new thing every day. Yeah, so you travel around every few years. Like when I started the Minecraft Monday show, I was in England, and then now I'm in Germany. So people are like, why are you traveling around so much? You know? <laughs> so that's why I started the vlog. I try to vlog. So, yeah. Share people with the community. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I think that we know a lot more about you. We yeah, know more things about you. And we're going to wrap it up for this one. And yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Because your Thank hand's you busy for, holding that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Thank man. you for uh, having this interview with us. Oh, um, happy to. Happy have to. fun at the rest of Minecraft. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Minecrafting and diamonds to you. Okay, guys, real quick, as a last thing, we've got a free copy of Minecraft that we're giving away. And to win that, all you have to do is go over to my channel, be subscribed to my channel, and post a comment on one of the full interviews. We'll pick one at random, and that person will be get sent a message through their personal YouTube, and you will be able to get a free copy of Minecraft.